Welcome back to Smart the Pod again today, and we are here with Evolution X ROM for Remy X2. This is the May uh, 5th uh, update 2020, and it's actually the latest for now. And if you like this video, why not click on that subscribe button right now and turn on the notification bell icon to receive more videos when we do. So let's get back to this ROM. The first thing you notice is the performance of this ROM. Scrolling, you know, opening apps, scrolling through apps. It is fast AF. It is fast and fluid. You know, there's not going to be any problem on this one. Can, kind of stutter. I've used it for over one week and I had not run into any kind of stutter or, or whatever, you know, lag or anything you can call it the fingerprint is as fast as uh, the stock Remy UI so if that's your worry then I don't think you have any case right now it unlocks very 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 fast and using the foot 101 implementation which probably will not be implemented by many other ROM but at least it works so good here the fingerprint registration is very very fast too so if you look at it you won't have any problem to worry here and as you can see the screen is stable it's not blinking and that's the thanks to the developers to be able to you know get this right and they keep working on that so the speed is very good the registration of the fingerprint is very 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 nice so you don't have anything to worry about the fingerprint the usage the registration the reading it is fast it is quick uh, there's no face unlock in a way um, but there is loads and ton and ton of food icon that you can use for your fingerprint you know I like this evil <laughs> I like the evolution you know um, it's all of them are still very very fast whichever one you you, you want to choose uh, you, you love or you like to use so um, the next thing you will notice also is there is uh, you know animation for fingerprints. You know when you accept fingerprints, as you can see that that sweet animation is very 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 good. You have a ton of them to choose. Man, this guy has loads of customization. And if you're just there, you can also you know check us out on social media and you know follow us there also. Um, so you can change any animation you are using, and uh, depending on what you want different different animation different effects this one is dna <laughs> so that's for the food it's loaded it's very very customizable um, it's using the google data so if you already know about google data it's 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 the same here uh, you know you have that feature of bubble uh, when you're making a call uh, you can even move it around any way you want and you can actually control the calls from there which is a feature I like um, it's a very very nice feature but it doesn't have call recording uh, in the call UI because this is Google data it doesn't have it uh, apart from that you know everything is good but one of the things that this guy is really really a competitor for the most customizable ROM here there is like nothing you cannot customize in this one there are different 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 types of dark mode right here there are plenty of them <laughs> you just you just have to like you're spoiled for choice here you know and then apart from that there is loads and tons of customization i'm going to be a little bit faster on the video here so as not to you know waste that time there is edge lightning effect um that makes it beautiful when you receive uh messages um there is quick settings i mean you can customize this one uh, you know the number of things that are on your uh, status bar the quick setting the drop down and what have you um there it goes on there is gesture there is lock screen setting the screen of gesture didn't work in this one for me uh it's actually something i don't actually use but there is of you know charging animation um there is loads and loads and loads of other things uh, that you can set in the animation and then there is game mode in the miscellaneous where you can you know tweak a whole lot of much much more so this guy is loaded when it comes to customization it is highly 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 loaded in fact it's a competitor for <laughs> for the last one we did there and then when it comes to the battery life the battery life is quite impressive 
Uh, in fact, um, I tested a, a candle, uh, a custom candle is coming out, people. So get excited. Uh, this will be the custom candle on this room, and the, the, the battery performance is just out of the world. And mind you, my, my phone is almost nine months old and is doing this great. Um, there is also Jigbench uh, for the, some of us who love um, uh, this with the stock uh, Evo X, not with the custom kernel. So the Jigbench also is you know on par you know with that of um, the stock ROM, but I feel the performance here is a little bit you know the real life performance because I don't believe in all those Jigbench uh, uh, benchmarks. Uh, the real life performance is a little bit better. And you can feel it when you play games. Um, the performance in gaming for this one is is so so good. Games play smoothly, and there is no problem when you're playing any game. There is no hitting when playing games, uh, light games, uh, even heavier ones like the PUBG. You can just see that the game, the, the game is is smooth. It's 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 just the gameplay is just so 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 great. So if you're a gamer and you are thinking of a ROM to use, I think this one is a very, very good one for you to use. And it's, I, I think you should give it a try. I think you should give it a try. If you're a gamer, it's very, very stable. This is very, very good. And I enjoyed it. I played him for almost an hour plus and, you know, it's not even heating up, you know, so uh, this is a very, very, very good one for gaming and the performance is good. The battery life is good. Um, this is just about it for a PUBG review. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do a dedicated PUBG review for with this one. If you want that, let me know in the comment section, and also do subscribe and like so that you know when I do that you get it. Okay, so uh, that's about it. My review for Evo X. It is a very very solid ROM. It's very very smooth. It is very fast. Uh, everything is so stable. I think I noticed the stability has improved from the first time I tested it out. You know, with the earlier version. So uh, let me hear from you in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.